Hey, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to do a video review for the Litter Robot. So this is actually a really unique device. Um, basically, it's a self-cleaning litter box that will automatically tip over the entire basin, dump all of the um, cat litter and any of the cats number ones, number twos into a basin down below. So I want to talk a little bit about this unit. I'll go over some of the features of it, um, the reason why I bought it, as well as my overall thoughts now that I've owned this for probably going on about two years. Now, I do want to first mention that there are many uh, versions of this litter robot. So it's very possible if you go to buy this, you could be buying a much newer version where they've improved upon some of the things that I'll talk about. So I want to first cover why I decided to buy this. Now, we actually have four cats in the household and our very first cat, um, and there goes the unit spinning, uh, our very first cat actually um, had some complacent issues where she was deciding to urinate on carpet, um, places around the home where you know it wouldn't be in the litter box and my thinking to a solution to all of that was getting an automatic litter box where it would be clean all of the time. Um, much to my resolve that actually hasn't necessarily um, solved all of the problems. I still you know occasionally have issues where um, if some of the other litter boxes are dirty she actually will not use this. So if you're looking to buy something like this thinking it's going to stop a cat from you know urinating around the home in places they shouldn't be I would not seek this as a, as a solution to that. If you're looking for something that's going to help you with keeping up with the maintenance of not having to constantly be scooping cat litter all the time, this is going to be a really good device for you. And this is actually giving you a good little demo of how it works. Um, I just finished cleaning it. So this is pretty much what it does when it's not in use. It will go from um, the red icon that it had prior down below actually will indicate that there's um, a cat inside of the unit. So it detects that and it figured that because I actually had my hand in here and I was wiping the whole interior down. And this will spin completely around as you can see here, and then it will rotate all the way back. So if there was any number one, number twos in here, it would have gone through this sifted filter, which you can see coming back, and it will dump everything down below. Um, this basically has a tray that you can pull out and I'll pull this out here. Um, you could just put a regular trash bag in here or they do make specific bags that are designed for this. Um, if you do a trash bag though, it's pretty easy. You just clasp it onto each of the ends here. Um, you could even, if you really wanted to, potentially just leave the basin as is if you wanted and um, let them go in here, but it will leave remnants and probably won't clean out very easily. So just bear that in mind if you don't use a trash bag. Um, it does have a nice little piece here on the front which is made of rubber that basically um, is supposed to prevent cat litter from kind of trailing out when they leave the unit. I'll say that if you don't fill it too, too much, this can help with that, but it's definitely not going to prevent all of it from coming out of the unit, depending on your cat. So don't, you know, rely on this as a hundred percent way to prevent cat litter from, you know, coming out. Um, so this pretty much easily just goes right back into place. The actual base of this unit um, is made of like almost a rubberized material. It's very, very thick. It has a circular line, which it's a little bit tough to see in the light. And you can even see there's some remnants litter that came back even from a full clean where we have a line and this is basically the fill line. Now, I do recommend you're going to have to use some form of a uh, probably like a, a clay type litter. We use the um, Ultra Dr. Easley's. This is the brand that we currently use and we've had um, good success using that in this particular litter box. I have not tried other litters, so I'm not sure about those in this particular unit. Um, one thing to uh, keep in mind with this unit is I did have a problem where originally my motor actually went out and I was able to contact the company. They shipped me a new one. They said, you know, that is a fault. They shipped me a new one right away. So in terms of customer service, getting a replacement really had no issues with the company. Um, you do also have the shroud that kind of goes over the entire unit and this actually has to be in place for the unit to function. If it's not, then it will not spin or rotate. So I was having some issues with this actually not clipping into the unit, but it was simply solved by just taking a piece of, um, like masking tape, as you can see here and just putting it over. So very, very simple fix. It now works hundred percent, but, um, basically there's little clips that go in on both sides and that keeps this entire top shroud, um, on the unit and 
keeps keeps it functional. Now, in terms of the device itself, you do have a few options. This is your power button. If you want to cycle the unit, basically like a manual uh, rotation of what it just did, like say you come up to the unit and there's some pee in there and it, it smells and you're like, all right, I just want to you know get rid of this. You can hit cycle. It'll rotate the whole unit and dump it down. So you, it's going to do that intermittently anyways, but if you want to do it at any given moment, you can hit the cycle button. If you hit the empty button, it's going to empty the entire unit. And then if you hit reset, um, sometimes it may be like, you know, if you saw here, it did the full rotation. Maybe it's sitting in a rotation. Sometimes it's good to hit reset and just kind of get it to come back to normal as it's done now. And then you have status lights. So right now it'll tell you if it's full, um, if it's been scooped or this basically, if there's a, a, an issue, like there's a cat inside and it's not going to spin, like it detects that. So it's really nice that it does that. You do have um, a nice little light here as well. Uh, this is a little bit of a darker room. It's almost like a, an area off of my basement that's enclosed. So the cats don't go outside, but it's all concrete floors down here. It's a little bit ugly if I'm being honest, but perfect for cat litter, right? Um, they do have a nice little night light here where they can see even in the darkest, you know, time of the night. So that's a really nice perk with this. In terms of cleaning, um, I do find that when you empty this, you use the empty function, everything comes out, you're going to get probably about 95% of it. But sometimes litter will get caught up in this ring here. So you have to pull that out and even sometimes not all the litter will empty. So it's sort of like, well, what do you do with all the extra litter? Um, my solution for this is I dedicated a tiny little um, plug-in and bear in mind, it's a plug-in vacuum. So it's very powerful. It's like a little dust buster, if you will, that is plug-in. I'll plug this into my uh, outlet here and I will actually vacuum this out. And that vacuum is almost solely dedicated to cat litter. That is the only thing I use it for. So something else to bear in mind with the cleaning, while you could potentially, you know, try to tip the unit or empty it, it is quite bulky and large. So you probably don't want to be doing that. But Overall, I would say I'm very happy with the unit. I think for the price point, given some of those slight cons, um, you know, it does take a little bit more time to clean, things like that, than a traditional litter box. Overall, probably worth the money. Um, it is quite expensive, but if you have one or two cats, I mean, this thing is gonna basically be doing most of your scooping for you and really gonna leave you with very minimal maintenance until it comes time to really clean the unit. So overall, I'm really happy with it. I think it was definitely worth the money and it's been you know, good having it in the house and just having a little bit of that um, extra maintenance even with four cats offset. If you do have multiple cats like I do, um, in this case four, we still have three other litter boxes. So it hasn't completely alleviated uh, the maintenance of scooping, but it's definitely helped again. So if you guys decide to pick up this unit, if you found this review helpful, I'm gonna leave a link below where you can grab this on Amazon. You'll pay the same, but I'll actually earn a small commission. So I definitely appreciate that. Check that out. And um, again, thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful.